Hey everybody, welcome to Watch Me Wednesday. I'm gonna be using this Family Grow set. Super cute, my mom's the bomb, my dad is rad. And this uh, cute girl's lower in numbers. I also have an uppercase set, I'll probably use that next week so you can get both matching. Okay, so this is a super fast card. Just gonna fold in half, and I'm sorry if you can hear my dog barking not too excited that I'm in here and this is a five by five and my paper is from die cuts with a view I'm covering the whole thing with this this is out of the Nana's kids set I'm also using this blue glitter paper from the glitter stack. And this cute little monkey, elephant, and lion paper, also out of the Nana's Kids. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this even if they are sleeping, kiss them goodnight. And I'm gonna put it on this green paper from Coordinations. And I'm going to stamp it in green, or I'm sorry, in brown, which I obviously don't have sitting right here, of course. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna use the Vintage Sepia. And before I cut it out, I'm just gonna do some coloring in there. And I just use my Prismacolor colored pencils and I'm going to use the Scamsol from Inky Antics. Just blending colors there. I got these scissors from Fiskars. I know I had some questions on those. They are fabulous, very easy to use. Don't kill your thumb either. I have a lot of practice cutting, so I know that it probably is not as easy for everyone, but the more the more practice you have, the better you will be. I used to have to cut out like enough to do about 400 cards a week, so I'd have to do that 400 times. So I got really used to doing that. Okay, I want to color this pink on there, but I'm not sure if it's going to be too bright when it dries. I think it'll be fine. I just want to go around the edges here. And this is the smooch ink from Clear Snap. Which we are going to start carrying very soon, so I'll be able to offer it to you. Mm. 
I'm not sure how much they are just yet, but they're awesome and worth every penny. I've got this white ribbon from Creative Impressions. I'm going to punch a hole where I want to tie my knot. Oh, right here. Probably going to do two just to make it bigger. <clears throat> I'll lay my ribbon across the top of the hole, flip my card over. I put both ends of this ribbon through the hole. This will keep your card or your ribbon from shifting around if you want it to stay in one spot. some pop dots on the back. And all done. And check out my blog. You can buy that set and the other set tomorrow. And I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.